few years ago, there was an analysis of uh, what is the least known element of space weather forecasting. And it basically said, without, without any uncertainty, that it's the near solar environment uh, where the sources of space weather where we know the least about to make predictions. And so for us, going with Parker and with uh, Solar Orbiter to da explore that space really addresses that in a, in a fashion that is unprecedented. The goal is not only to have that understanding, but to put that understanding into models. And especially as we go with uh, astronauts outside of the Earth magnetosphere to the Moon and then to Mars, we need to be able to predict far away from the Earth. That's precisely where these models will have the most power and will actually help in a direct fashion these astronauts that we're uh, thinking about right now. I wanted to begin uh, on behalf of uh, the men and women of United Launch Alliance. I just want to say welcome to the Solar Orbiter launch. Uh, as a company and as an individual personally, uh, I and, and the team are very excited about participating uh, and being part of this great international collaboration and uh, the Solar Orbiter mission. Um, this will be the first launch uh, for ULA in 2020, but it will be our 137th launch as a company. Uh, to date, we've had 136 consecutive successful launches, uh, and uh, we are super excited of that record. Tim mentioned we've had of that 136, uh, 81 of those so far have been the Atlas vehicle, and five have been the configuration which we're launching today, which is the, the 411. We at ULA are very proud to deliver Solar Orbiter uh, to its uh, orbit and continue to reliably deliver our nation's most important spacecraft for all of our customers with 100% mission success. I do want to say thank you to NASA and to our ESA partners. Uh, the entire ULA team looks forward to a successful launch. And uh, I'll just end with a go Atlas, go Centaur, and go Solar Orbiter. <laughs>